Thank you for purchasing this 1974 Sankyo Pachinko machine. This quick start guide will show you how to set it up and play. Now your machine already has support boards on the bottom, but for someone watching this video who may not, um, you'll want to attach, attach some boards to the bottom so it'll be stabilized and won't tip over or put it in a cabinet. These are just one by fours and you screw uh, two of them in the bottom. Now one of the first things you want to do is you want to lock the ball drain lever in the back of the machine. And the way you do that, uh, well first of all, the balls come through here and when they drain, they drain down this chute. And you see these levers, they flip down so that the balls can fall. So you need to lock these levers and the way you do that on your machine, you'll just take your finger here, slide this over to the left, those levers go up, now they're locked. Um, on some machines there's actually a wire that comes across from here over to um, the side over here and you could push on that wire but I usually find it best to do this. Next you'll want to make sure that the fork is in, the, is in this position. Um, there's a couple of teeth here. You may have a plastic piece or a metal piece and those teeth go inside the track here and they block the flow of balls. Um, that was uh, used in pachinko parlors when they wanted to service the machine without taking balls out but for home use you really don't need it. In fact, if you can, you can just bend these over so that way they don't even go in and block it. Next, you'll want to take care of the one ball seesaw. It is the most common problem with pachinko machines, and when the seesaw is in the incorrect position, your machine will never pay out. You'll have balls back up in your machine and causing all kinds of jams. So, inside of here, there's a piece of plastic, and it has two pachinko balls in there that act as counterweights. So, those stay in there. Um, and the part will tip up and down. If it's in this position, that's incorrect and you need to reset it. Um, you can either reach in if you have the uh, window is taken off and reset it this way or you can push this plunger up and that will reset the seesaw. So here's the cover that goes over this window. Um, it's not necessary. Um, there's also usually a yellow piece over here with uh, a, the exact same clear window covering that area. Um, you don't need that as well. Um, with that removed, you have easier access to grab this bar. We'll see that in a minute. Next, we'll connect your lights to a 9-volt battery. We'll just plug this on. And there's a light here and a light inside of here. So what happens for this particular machine, when you get a jackpot, those lights will flash. So normally nothing's happening. I'll go ahead and act like I'm getting a jackpot. So that's what happens when you get a jackpot. Looking at it from the front, you have two red lenses here. Only one will light up and then there will be a light in the center. On some Sankyo machines, there's actually a switch here. And when you have balls in this tray, they activate that switch and they turn off the light and whenever the machine would run out of balls that would come up and this light would come on and stay on until you refilled your machine with balls. Keeping your supply tray full of balls is another way to make sure there's no problems with your machine. Um, now this, this particular one doesn't have a light to let you know you're out of balls but there is a wire here and this wire goes all the way down and when it lifts up and down it, it shuts a lever in the front of the machine and it'll block the flow of balls. Let's take a look at that. So as you're playing, balls from your plate tray will roll through and inside the shooter assembly inside here. Um, when that lever comes down, it'll block the flow of balls. You'll have a bunch of balls here, but you keep flipping and nothing's happening because that's blocking the flow. So that means you need to refill the supply tray and back. Okay, let's go ahead and load some balls into the plate tray. Next we'll load balls into the supply tray. Now this uh, tray is clear, the originals were green. This is just a replacement tray that we sell because um, often they're broken. So when we load the balls in, they'll roll down this track, they'll make this turn, they'll come across those levers, and they'll go inside of here inside the jackpot assembly. And that's where they'll stay until you get a jackpot. So here you can see those two support boards and then there's a cross board going here. That way I can place a bucket to catch the balls. The balls will come out of here and they'll also come out of here so you got to make sure the bucket is centered. And when you play pachinko you're going to pull down the flipper and let go and it'll launch a ball 
the ball will go up the shooter lane, across the top, and then it'll, it'll hit a bumper here. When it hits that bumper, it'll bounce off, and then it'll drop, and it'll ping off the nails. Um, these round things are spinners. They just redirect the ball. These red and green pockets are jackpot pockets, and so are these two tulips here. Um, also, this main attraction in, in the center is a jackpot. Now, no matter which one of these the ball goes into, the same thing happens. You get the lights will flash, uh, the balls will fall from the jackpot assembly, they'll hit a bell, and then they'll come into your play tray. Now, if you don't get a ball in a jackpot, it'll drop through this hole and drain out into the bucket in the back. Okay, to play pachinko, we'll pull down on the flipper, and first time you do this, nothing will happen because it's loading a ball into the shooter lane. Now, if we do it again, came across, went down, and went out and drained into the back. Okay, uh, we got one to go in here and it closed, then we got another one to go in here. It closed, but it dropped down and opened this one. We also got our payout of balls and you saw the lights flash. Now if we don't pull down on the, far enough on the flipper, it just goes up part way and it drains back into your play tray. Now we're going to take a look at what happens when you get a jackpot from the back. I'm going to drop a ball right through this hole here, it's one of the pockets in the front, and it will roll down and enter into your seesaw right here. That seesaw will then pivot, the ball will roll over here, down, it'll hit a little metal arm, and that metal arm goes all the way across over here, and it'll pivot that arm down. And as it pivots that arm down, it's going to push up on this rod, that rod is going to pivot all this linkage, which is this, then going to cause your jackpot arm, rocker arm, this white arm here, it's going to cause that to lift up, all the balls in the assembly will drop down, They'll hit a metal plate here, making a nice sound. Then they'll roll over to this white arm. They'll pivot that arm down, roll across, hit this bell here, causing the ringing sound, and then go out to your front play tray. Also, when this arm pivots down, it's going to reset this part right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we got several jackpots. Uh, we didn't hear a lot of ringing over here because there was already balls right by the bell. Um, but they started backing up and eventually when the play tray in front is so full the balls back up and they come across and they hit this bell and then they drop down into your receiving tray in front. Now that we've won a bunch of jackpots we need to empty the play tray so the balls can go down into your receiving tray. That way you can scoop them out, put them in a bucket and then refill your supply tray. There is a knob right here, a lever, and we're going to slide that over to the left. And when we do, the ball should flow from here down to receiving tray. Sometimes they'll jam. And you may have to take a finger and you may have to loosen the weight of the balls to get them to flow. Or you might have to pull down on the flipper or a combination of both. Okay, that's it for this quick start guide. For more detailed instructions, uh, please uh, watch our instruction DVD. Thank you.